Okay, welcome Professor Tang. Thank you uh, for joining the OpenMPCon and giving a very inspiring keynote uh, just now. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here and I really am very grateful to all of you, the organizers, uh, Michael Wong and, and, and company. And, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's really been a stimulating experience of being here uh, because surrounded by the OpenMP experts uh, from around the world, uh, uh, I'm learning some very uh, interesting new developments and such which will be very important for application domains such as the one that I spoke about. Mm -hmm. Yes, the uh, fusion energy. So you mentioned uh, the applications work that you've been doing or your group has been doing mm -hmm. and uh, at Princeton, you're a professor at Princeton and uh, uh, you mentioned also the key roles of OpenMP in that development. Uh, on sh so the incremental approach and others. Could you elaborate more on those uh, features? Sure, sure. Um, OpenMP with its capability to deal with, uh, for example, the multi-threading of engaging many, many, many processors is very key uh, to uh, being able for application domains like ours, which I spoke about here in an illustrative sense. You know, this applies to uh, many different application domains that the objective is to uh, be able to engage the modern uh, supercomputing uh, platforms as they evolve to be more and more powerful sorts of systems. And OpenMP is a key tool with a bright future that we can build upon. And um, uh, for example, uh, during yesterday's presentations that I listened to, they talked about future versions of OpenMP, like OpenMP4, mm -hmm. with its associated flexibility. We will be engaged on the advanced platforms worldwide that will need the OpenMP uh, um, approach to be able to fully utilize the machines to our objective is to de deliver at an accelerated pace important scientific discoveries. And that is more and more of an imperative these days for the uh, governments around mm -hmm. the world. Uh, I mentioned during my, my talk that um, in the U.S., uh, President Obama uh, issued an executive order uh, not long ago engaging all of the uh, research agencies that use high-performance computing, Department of Energy, NSF, uh, uh, National Institutes of Health, and so forth, to be fully engaged in keeping the U.S. Uh, you know, at the forefront of uh, supercomputing and uh, but the imperative there is not just to evolve to more and more powerful systems but to be able to utilize those to deliver accelerated results in areas that are important for the country. But and you also, and you, but you also uh, quoted professor, uh, President Xi Jinping of China. Yes, 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 very good, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, so um, I didn't meet uh, um, uh, President uh, Xi Jinping of, of, of China, but he's a leader in China right now. Uh, his background is very interesting because his degree is in electrical engineering uh, obtained from uh, Tsinghua University, which is the, uh, the equivalent of MIT, analogous to MIT in the U.S. And but it's uh, also where they organized an IWAMP a couple of years ago. Yes. And so they're very, uh, you know, very aware of uh, what the potential might be. And he has uh, already made it very clear to the high performance computing leadership in China that he's very proud of the achievements uh, in China of uh, putting on the floor the two, two number one machines with totally different architectures within four years. But now he's saying, including the current Tianhe 2, which is by far the most, most powerful system uh, in the world. Um, and he said, but the, the real challenge right now is to uh, demonstrate how helpful it will be for China in terms of uh, impacting areas that will benefit the society in China. And also next year when the OpenMPCon and IWOP will be organized in Japan, 
then we might see some more contribution from the right. Chinese Open MP community. Absolutely. And uh, yes, uh, actually Michael Wong talked to me about that too. And it'll be very interesting to, to continue to move forward in this yeah. area. And uh, well, another point in your presentation where you discussed uh, just two examples where Open MP had an edge over MPI. Uh, yes. Yes. Could you say a bit more about that? Sure. Um, the the uh, again, it comes back to this uh, much greater ability to engage many 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 processors because um, the extreme concurrency or extreme parallelism is not going away. It's going to be, you know, much more strongly emphasized in the future platforms. We already see this in the uh, uh, early information on the. 100 petaflop systems that are being pursued. And uh, MPI is very limited in terms of being able, for example, to efficiently deal with uh, multi-threading. Mm -hmm. And um, we already have seen uh, the powerful impact of MPI in uh, multi-threading uh, deployment and being able to engage uh, um, machines such, like, such as the Blue Gene Q you mean OpenMP, of course. The yes, yeah. yeah, MPI. You, you, you had to use OpenMP. It's, uh, we, and, and as I also said during my talk, um, even for the, the solvers, you know, the mm -hmm. uh, Poisson solvers and such, uh, the existing capabilities by and large deal still in a legacy sense with MPI. Mm -hmm. but. The solvers, as they engage more and more of the compute runtime in advanced codes like ours, um, you're going to have to involve, evolve to an OpenMP capable mm -hmm. uh, solver, uh, algebraic multigrid solvers. And we've identified some already and, and uh, will aggressively pursue that. So by certainly by next year, we should, should be able to uh, speak to those advantages too. And just to finish off, uh, you mentioned that uh, in your presentation a new physics result that was obtained by HPC simulations. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where you really have the, the ad added value of this type of yes. work. Yes, eh? yes. Um, because in the fusion area, um, fusion uh, advanced uh, development of fusion energy, uh, the biggest challenge, uh, one of the biggest challenges, is to efficiently confine this very hot gas from escaping. And the processes that I spoke about today involve turbulent kinetic dynamics. And you can only uh, capture the dynamics in a predictive way uh, through high performance computing. And what I spoke about today was to deploy the full power of the modern supercomputers aided by algorithms uh, like OpenMP to be able to gain much better resolution both in phase space and also the real grid space to deliver unprecedented uh, new results in this area mm -hmm. that advances the ability to identify how you can best confine the, the hot plasma and ultimately the balance between these losses which you cannot completely avoid and the fusion energy production from the basic reaction will determine the size and cost of a fusion reactor so mm -hmm. it's very important that way. okay yeah thank you very much for your uh, time and uh, hope to see you another uh, opportunity opportunity Great. Thank, thank you, you very much